it's Jackie and today I am doing a first impression review on the Glam and Glow 53 piece Ulta Beauty collection. I realized that I never did a review on this one. I did one on the other one, the pretty and polished one, but I did not do it for this. If you are interested in knowing how these perform and my thoughts on them, I created this look using it. And yeah, so if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. Okay, so can't believe I ever forgot to do a first impression on this. Let you guys know what I thought. So I'm gonna do it now. Okay, some of you may have gotten it for Christmas. So this is, oh, please don't open. The Glam and Glow 53 piece collection from Ulta Beauty. And this is what the inside looks like. This opens up. Um, the lip, uh, lip sticks were in a little container in there and then the brushes and everything else was in the bottom so in this there are eyeshadows um lip liners there's two lip liners clay and magenta and there is two shimmer glosses, pink shimmer and nude shimmer. There are two eyeliners, black and dark brown, two shiny liquid lips, clay and magenta. Um, two, where's the other one? Large blending sponges. This one obviously is the one I use. I haven't started using this one yet. I'm waiting for this one to be worn out, which will be soon and uh, come here two little sponges I use this one right now and a blush brush an eyeshadow brush and a crease brush so that's everything that came in the oh there's also blush highlighter and bronzer but that is what came in the glam and glow sets so today we're going to test it out and see just what we think yeah so let's let's get into that got the brushes let's start we're gonna do hmm i don't know maybe we'll do like a greenish look First, I'm going to start off with this one. Set this on the floor. Ooh. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with this, and I am going to start off with the... No. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't do my brows. There's no brow stuff in here. I'll have to do my brows after. Um... I'm going to use, this is the Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer Satin Blush that came in my other set, but it's Ulta Beauty, so I'm going to use this to prime my eyes. Since it's Ulta Beauty and I'm using Ulta Beauty, they should work well together. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt as I was wearing in the last video, it's because I am pre-filming. If you don't know what my last video was, it was the 10 minute full face challenge. And 
I will link that in the description box below. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's a lot harder than they make it look to do a full face in 10 minutes. Just saying. So yeah, if you want to go check that out, I will link it in the description box. Can't I can't get over how shimmery this primer is, but we're going to set it with you know we're gonna set it with the ooh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I will just use my one of my powder brushes. We will just set that down because if we don't it's super sticky and it's hard to blend the shadows if you don't set it so we're gonna set it because I don't want to have a hard time blending my shadows and I keep looking in the mirror when I should be looking at you I'm so sorry that was rude of me so we're gonna start yeah, Jack, you kind of need that. Need another name. We're going to start with the matte camel. Right there. I'm going to use that as a transition shade. We will use the crease brush for that. So I did put on bronzer. Oh, that's a nice color. I like that. I did put on bronzer, but I will just put on more bronzer. <laughs> I forgot there was a bronzer in here, so I will just put on more. So let's go in with this. Why? This is periwinkle, but it looks green. Mm. All right, we're going to go in with this matte periwinkle shade. Isn't periwinkle purple? This is not purple. Oh, look who didn't open this one yet. I don't understand. <laughs> Cups for periwinkle. It's purple. I'm not seeing this one very well. I mean, it's kind of there. It's really hard. You really got to go in with a couple. You got to go in a couple of times. Hmm. I don't know if I like this one. This shade. Shade doesn't seem to be doing much. I don't know. I can't really see it much. It's very, very faint. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to go in with go in with the matte charcoal. And I'm going to use the shadow brush for that. And I'm just going to go on the outer and a little into the crease. Actually, you know what? Oh, let's just go into the crease with it because that last color really did not do much at all. So I was doing a green look. This is not green. <laughs> we'll get there. We will get there. Okay, so now we're going to take the same brush. We're going to go into this. Yeah, no. This matte teal, real dark teal, it's hard to tell, but we're going to go in with that. So my cat is laying, we're going to use the same brush. My cat is laying, we're going to go in the outer V. Oh, my cat is laying um, on my heat vent in this room. He's sucking up all the heat, and I'm getting chilly. 
No, I guess we're going into the crease with that too. I did not plan that. I just, I just did it. So we're doing it. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty color. It's dark, but it's pretty. We definitely got to blend. There's, there's definitely got to be some blending going on here. So I'm going to grab my blending brush that I use by Beauty Accents. And we're going to do some blending. All right. There's that. Now I'm going to get a I'm going to get I'm going to wet a flat brush. And I'm going to go in with this shimmer aqua color on the lid. I am cold. Hmm. Hmm. What brush doesn't see? This is doing a little. really dig in there to get it on the brush. But it is showing up. Not too bad, not too bad. You gotta really dig in to the shadow with your brush to get it on there, but once you do that, I mean, it's showing up pretty good. It's very pretty. I like it. It's showing up, so I mean, that's good, right? Now we take that teal, what's left on the brush, and just blend it in. Shadows aren't bad. Just not sure how I like the look I created. It's a lot of, I don't know. Maybe went a little too far there. Okay, so I'll take that teal, go on the bottom. Might as well just do that now. Just on the outer third. Connect it. I hear my kitty meowing, which means my kitty is no longer in here, which means hopefully the heat kicks on, because I'm cold. I'm actually going to take this matte gray, not the charcoal one we used before, but the gray, and grab that on a different crease brush, and run it along the bottom. Let's use the eyeliner. We're gonna use black, black eyeliner. I've used this before apparently. Oh no, the cat's back. I'm gonna freeze again. Again, I'm still freezing. Henry, you're soaking up all the heat. So the eyeliner, you gotta go, you like, you gotta keep going over it, you don't have to show up. But it'll show up if you keep going over it. All right. I'm going to pop on some lashes and then I will be back to 
do the rest of the face and lips. Okay, so lashes are on. I also did my brows because I forgot to do them beforehand, so I just did them. And now I have the blush, highlighter, and bronzer package. Package, I don't know what else to call it. Which is also tape shut. I am so cold right now. My cat is seriously hogging all the heat and I don't like it freezing. Okay. <clears throat> so I think for the blush, I don't know where they get nude from, but I'm gonna use the matte nude pink. Actually, I'm lying. Well, I'm not, but I'm gonna start with the matte bronzer. Let's do the bronzer first. All right, so let me grab ooh, my bronzing brush. Try to wipe off whatever's on it. Just try to give this a fair shot. All right, take that. Nice. Oh, Jackie, that was way too much. Okay. Hmm. I like that. That's actually really nice. It's like perfectly pigmented and it blends out really good. Really well. Sorry. Proper grammar. That's actually a really nice bronzer. Not too shabby. Okay, so there is that. Now we're gonna go in with that nude, that matte nude. <sighs> this has been happening for like days where I keep throwing things and dropping things. Now we're gonna use the blush brush and go in with that pink blush. Ooh, it's on there. I don't really like shimmer blushes I have textured skin and shimmer blushes usually bring out my texture it's a nice blush so I try to stay away from those highlighters kind of bring out my texture too but I like highlighters so mm, too bad mm -hmm. oh oh Oh, 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 too much. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that looks like a lot in the viewfinder. Mm. Well, it is what it is. That looks, it looks like more in the viewfinder than it actually is in real life. Not bad, I like it. It's a good blush. Let's put that in there. Okay, now we need to do highlight. Oh man, do I do, I don't think the rose gold would look very good on me. I think I'm gonna do the champagne. And we'll see how that goes. Ooh, it's got glitter. Oh, man. Not a huge fan of highlights with glitter. Mm-hmm. Yep, tiny pieces of glitter. Wow. That looks a lot shinier in the viewfinder than it does in person. Wow, I'm surprised that it actually showed up as well as it did. I mean, it's small glitter, but it's there. I can tell it's there. Mm. I don't know. It's. I mean, it's obviously highlights well. If you like glitter in your highlight, you would like this, I think. If you do not like glitter in your highlight, well, you're out of luck 
with this because they're both glittery. Yeah, see, I don't, mm, I don't really like the glitter part. Mm. But I'm still putting it on because, well, I gotta show you, right? <sighs> don't wanna eat the glitter. All right, so there's the blush, highlight, and bronzer. Not bad, not bad. Highlight, it's got glitter in it, not my fave, but it's a highlight, that is for sure. Okay, so now we need lips. What do I want to do? I think I'm gonna do the clay. I feel like the magenta would not go with this eye look. Clay looks more nude, so hopefully it's... Ugh, I don't know, it kinda looks brown. Mm. So this is the lip pencil, and this is the, oof. I apologize that I have not really been looking at you this whole time. I keep looking at myself in the mirror and talking to myself <laughs> in the mirror. So I am going to work on that for sure because, yeah, I feel rude now. So I apologize. I'm working on it. Ooh, that's too pointed. Let's dull that down a little. Oof, that's brown. Mm. All right, let's do this. This is a shiny liquid lipstick as well, just so you're aware. Oh. Mm, I don't like this lip pencil. It doesn't glide on smooth. It's like old school lip pencil, just like in the other kit. So I'm not going to fill in my lips with the liner because I want to see how this goes on bare lips. What was that noise? My cat, my dog is whining. Coco, lay down. Uh, uh, ugh. They don't glide on. For being shiny, it doesn't really glide on very well. The feeling is gonna be sticky. We'll see. Oh, it looks darker than the liner too. And it's because it's shiny, it's not going to dry down. It's just going to stay like this. Oh, that's brown. I don't know if that goes with this eye look. So that is the color clay. Yes, clay. Brown. I was kind of hoping it'd be a lighter nude. Doesn't go great with the eye look, but the magenta is not going to go great either. It looks a little darker on than it does in the tube. So beware of that. Okay, so I need to spray my face, which I really don't freaking want to because I don't like this stuff. But I'm gonna pick up some new setting spray, hopefully <sighs> the end of the week. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is the look I created 
with the Glam and Glow 53 piece collection. So yeah, I hope this um, video was informative. I hope it helped you figure out if maybe you want to use your Ulta Beauty gift card on the collection or maybe not. I don't know. I kind of, the eyes came out better than I thought they were going to and I'm okay with that. So yeah, I hope this was informative. I hope this helped you figure out if you want the collection or don't want the collection and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you have not yet, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I would love to have you. And hit the bell to become part of the hashtag notification nation. And share, share, share if you would like other people to find me and see my videos and I hope you tune in for some more future videos and I hope you have a great day. Bye!